Hello viewers, um, I thought I'd do commentary on this video so you can um, hear and see exactly what's going on. This is an SC53 two stroke. It's pretty grubby, it's quite an old engine. Um, so let's go. Right, I'm going to take the exhaust manifold off. There's actually one missing, it must have come out of flight. But I have got spares. This is the exhaust manifold. This is the fuel pressure nipple. That's the wrong size. And there's no gasket or o-ring on there. There should be really. And we'll strip down the silencer. Quite oh, tight. Oh. This has a bit apart. And there's a nut. And a split washer. There's the through bolt with another split washer. Oh, two halves of the silencer and a baffle. Next, we'll take the carb off. Push the pinch bolt and the car will come straight out. Now we'll take the pinch bolt out. Nut. Oop, just dropped it. And there's the pinch bolt. There's a recess if you can see it. One second. There's a recess that the carb goes past and then when you tighten the bolt up it pulls it up against the carb so it can't come out. Okay, next we'll take the cylinder head off. That wasn't very tight. And all that one. See, this is why you should check your engines regularly. Well, I do anyway. This engine was in a model when I purchased it. Um, I lost one of the servos in flight and uh, the plane crashed, so that was the end of that. I wonder what horrors we'll find inside. Is it still in the head? That silver ring there is a, is a, a washer, uh, a gasket, sorry. You've got to be careful taking it off because they're really thin and they deform very easily. Actually, too bad. The sleeve isn't going to want to come out on its own. Okay, prop nut. I 
washer. Put driver. Oh, that's stuck. Okay. Okay, that's stuck. Um, we may have to soak it to get it out. So we'll move on to the back plate for now. I wonder if the bearings are rusty. crank and I can see some slightly rusty bearings so this will be a rebuild of bearings I think I'm gonna have to pause the video just to soak this and heat it up so I can get this prop driver off I'll be right back okay I managed to get it out I had to heat it up with the heat gun in the end and try not to heat up the crank so I'll take the prop nut back off. One prop driver. One collet. Crankshaft, pretty rusty. But I'll clean up fine. And the crankcase with the bearings. We'll um, strip the carb, so we'll take the main needle out. Now we'll take the froth lever off. Not in that arm key. So we'll just give it a twist. It's pretty gummed up. Now we'll take the um, the idle needle out if I can find my screwdriver. doesn't want to come out for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Car body o-ring. Fuel inlet nipple with gasket. this I think it's a ratchet clip just to stop the um, high-speed needle moving a flight we'll take the um, high-speed needle or main needle housing out now let's find a nice socket oh spanner instead 
I've already undone it because it was very tight. With a gasket. I thought I had the um, camera running for this part and I didn't, so I'm doing it now. Um, where's my flathead? Right, we're going to take out the um, throttle slide or rotor stop screw. There's a nut on there as well. Um, we're going to take out the low speed needle. Well, the slides actually aren't now. And there's the carb body. Now, the low speed needle on this engine doesn't come out this way like normal. You have to screw it in. And just keep going until it comes out. good feature um, it means it will never fall out in flight if you're wondering where the bits have gone they are soaking in there um, it's a degreaser I did a video on it also etches aluminium it reacts with the carbon um, you don't want to leave it in there too long um, but when it comes out and you scrub the black off um, it, it, it's pretty clean uh, ready for painting thanks for watching